we're animals and we forget that sometimes and I think just touching the soil it just changes everything it takes away so so much anxiety depression all sorts of mental health problems I think it's probably something quite instinctive and in intrinsic within us to, to want that connection with nature and to want that connection with our food. If I can see the sky and the trees then I'm going to feel happier and calmer. It will help you heal faster if you connect with nature. The thing that inspires me the most is watching the change in people when they come and volunteer with us. Annie has supported me. She's taught me a lot about the plants. She's taught me a lot about just how to be patient with yourself. It's the green therapy, it's actually doing the activities, but also it's providing, I would call a safe haven, you know, where somebody can go do some gardening, but also have a brew, chat to other people. When you're looking at thriving communities, I see somewhere that is safe, that people are friendly to each other, where people have full bellies so that they make good decisions. And I see that being possible by collaborating with the food hubs, by collaborating with all the other grassroots organisations. Crucially for us, what they're doing is helping us tackle inequalities because a lot of the food that's grown here is distributed through the community sector to make sure that people actually have access to affordable food. Let's Grow Preston is amazing. It is changing lives in the city. They are creating huge opportunities for these neighbourhoods to thrive, um, for people to come out of their homes, to connect with nature and to connect with other people within their community. If there's an initiative that we have, they always engage and they do what they can to help. So I think it's pretty brilliant what they're doing here. Here became my home and they've just welcomed me with open, open arms and shown me a whole new way of life. It might not be the newest, smartest place, but it's got kind people. And that's the power of community to me. It's just supporting people to make really good choices.